Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth. You know, sometimes, uh, pretty actually pretty frequently, not sometimes, all the times, uh, people ask if, uh, viewers ask if I'm ever going to do any kind of a collection video, uh, and I usually say no. Uh, in fact, I always say no, because uh, I don't really have my collection displayed like a lot of these, uh, like a lot of collectors that you see where they've got all the shelves and stuff up, and everything's organized and neat and clean. And that's, for the most part, that feels like a nightmare to me, having to, like, dust that and clean that and picking up everything when they get knocked over and stuff. I just, I, for the most part, I keep my stuff uh, in, uh, in drawers, in uh, various storage shelving unit things. Uh, a couple of things, a couple of reasons. But one, it keeps it out of the light. I'm sort of paranoid about the light, you know, discoloring all the whites and stormtroopers getting, you know, yellowed and all that stuff. Um, and then uh, the dust, you know, I just I get tired of all the dusting and constantly having to pick stuff up when it gets knocked over. And besides, you know, at this point I've got enough figures that uh, just keep them, you know, organized so that when I need to shoot a picture for Instagram or, or put, put something in one of our videos or the background or stuff, uh, I know where stuff is. It's all pretty pretty neat. Well, I mean, th like this drawer, for instance, is a bunch of three and three quarter inch stuff that's not vintage G.I. Joe or 25th anniversary or Secret Wars or Superpowers or anything like that. It's just a bunch of random crap uh, all thrown in a bin here. So I'm just going to dump this out and we'll take a look at it. Uh, Exactly is in this drawer, so I don't know. Think of this as like part of a collection video. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and don't worry about uh, Boba Fett here. He's not uh, part of the Boba set. This is a uh, 2009. That was the rocket firing mail order one that uh, they put out in 2009. That has the rocket firing uh, capacity on the back there, but uh, it's it's actually a different mold if you compare it to an actual vintage. Uh, Boba Fett. He's actually, I think he's taller, and uh, I don't know, the sculpt just isn't different. And the rocket firing pack is not even close to being the same way. So, anyway, a bunch of other stuff in here. All kinds of stuff. We got old stuff, from, like Battlestar Galactica, vintage Battlestar Galactica figures. We got uh, Happy Meal Power Ranger toys. We got uh, Chap May, Jason, nin Tattooed Ninja. I don't even know what this guy's supposed to be. Knock off. We got some core in here. The core. Uh, some uh, Clash of the Titans. Harry Hamlin there. We got uh, a Goro Street Fighter. Not Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat uh, G.I. Joe figure here. Goro. With, uh, he's missing his top knot there. His little ponytail. But uh, otherwise, he's in really nice condition. I've uh, got some... Uh, I don't remember what this line was called. DC Superhero something. We got uh, uh, Translucent uh, Hal Jordan here. Um, Iron Man movie... Drone, knock off Chewbacca. Uh, just, it all, just, it's, you know, it's a catch all bin where I just, you know, it's self discriminating. That's why I throw everything in here. I got a couple of Sark and a Sentry from Tron. Uh, I don't know what this guy's from, but uh, he was just in some bin, picked up flea market somewhere. I have no idea what line he's from, but uh, he's a scuba diver and, uh, you know, he's. Share, he's got stuff in common with uh, some of the other figures that I love. Uh, Torpedo was always my favorite G.I. Joe. Uh, prior, prior to falling in love with Snake Eyes, uh, because he was a scuba diver, and I like guys with uh, scuba diver packs. Um, this guy from, uh, uh, you know, I blank on these stuff, uh, on these things. Um, the Sticks one. This guy here from uh, G.I. Joe Valor vs. Venom, I believe. Uh, I was trying to do a sort of a customization thing here with uh, putting a uh, Serpentor mask on him. I love the arm. Uh, reminds me of uh, the Tyrant from uh, Resident Evil. And uh, I just thought it might look better without his uh, terrible haircut that he had. Throw the helmet on there, but it didn't work out that great. Um, I don't know. What else is in here? Punisher. We got a Biker Mice from Mars helmet. Uh, a couple of adventure people. Uh, this looks like Wayland Jennings. Bionic 6. We got crash test dummies. Uh... Dog, Buck Rogers, a couple of Buck Rogers figures in here. Thumbs intact. O-rings probably need to be replaced. This is modern, uh, the core. These guys are pretty cool just for a generic, you know, sort of G.I. Joe bad guys. We got a Robocop. Uh, there's another... Oh, we got the uh, Indian in the cupboard here. Uh, Naked Luke. Uh, the, the figure I don't really care about. I've got the uh, Back to Chamber, which is always good for posing people. Uh, I think these are 18 bad guys. This guy, I can't even remember what line this guy's from. Um, I'd have to look it up. Dragon Riders of the Sticks, that's what it was called. Uh, got Alan Alda, Hawkeye from uh, MASH. We got the. I think this is the newscaster from uh, Adventure People. Uh, these guys, I can never remember if these are constructs or. Uh, 
the other one. I think it's Constructs. Or Battlestar Galactica, PVC Boba Fett. Stitch as uh, General Grievous. Sector from Mortal Kombat. Just a whole bunch of random bunch of people guy. Got a Nash figure. I put all my Nash figures together, I guess. Oh, back here we got uh, Mr. T. Um, oh, I think I got two of these in here. Yeah, here we go. Two of those. I should probably pull all those guys out, too. Got Flash Gordon. Oh, here, look at this. I feel like I'm playing memory now. Two of each. Knock off Stormtrooper. Another Buck Rogers. Quite a few of these guys. I thought I just saw this guy's mask in here somewhere. A lot of these guys just, I, you know, I wasn't really into G.I. Joe during this era. But I mean, look at this guy. He's pretty awesome. I had to, uh, uh, I had to grab that guy when I saw him. This guy's supposed to have a helmet too. No idea what this guy's from. If you know, let me know in the comments. These are... Otherwise, I'm just going to spend a couple hours trying to find it online somewhere. Maybe I'll just post it somewhere and have somebody help me out. Anyway, this is, uh, look at this guy, this guy's pretty cool. It reminds me, it's like if, uh, this is, it's from G.I.J. I have no idea what this guy's name is. He's got a helmet, he's, uh, I don't know, he looks like a race car driver. But, uh, it almost looks like if Adventure People, if Adventure People were made today, more like G.I.J., I don't know. This guy from Clash of the Titans. I have no idea what this, what line this guy's from. Uh, it's probably marked somewhere. I don't know. 2006. Cool bad guy for uh, G.I. Joe. But, uh, yeah, so I've just got, you know, all these bins and uh, storage containers and stuff that I just sort of... stuff gets put in, and then, like I said, you know, uh, follow me over on uh, Instagram at Toy Galaxy. That's that's where I'm really most uh, mostly involved. Uh, I'm, not on I'm on Twitter more more and more, but Instagram is where I'm at. I just, you know, I like taking pictures of toys. That's, that's what I do, and all this stuff... Uh, uh, you just, you know, you think, oh, I need a tiny Godzilla, and it's like, bam, I got a tiny Godzilla, I know where it is, and I can find it. Uh, it's, uh, I just, I don't know, I don't think I could put the money into all the shelves and trying to keep stuff dusted, I don't know. Anyway, I, I hope you enjoy taking a look at this kind of stuff, just a bunch of random things. I'm sure you're seeing all kinds of things that I'm not actually, uh, talking about or mentioning, but that's just one bin of many. Uh, I'm sure we'll have more uh, to, to show off in the future. Anyway, thanks for taking a couple minutes and watching <laughs> watching me uh, go through some of my figures. Uh, please make sure you uh, give this video a like, hit subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, leave a comment uh, uh, below. Let me know if you saw anything in particular that uh, you thought was pretty cool that you haven't seen in a while. Anyway, later.